Hello, this is Mary with All Things Automotive, bringing you here today a 2022 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road Premium. This vehicle features a 4-liter V6 engine with full-wheel drive. There have been no accidents or damages reported to Carfax, and this is a Carfax certified one-owner vehicle. As we get closer to the front of this vehicle, you'll be able to see it is a brilliant bright white clear coat with chroma black accents, as you'll be able to see there around the grill and around those fog lights. Those fog lights will help you out in inclement weather, and speaking of inclement weather, we'll take a look over here at your wheels. You have silver 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels with black insets, and we'll just take a look over here at your tire treads. All Thing Automotive does guarantee at least double the state minimum or better, but I'll get you those exact measurements in just a second, as this vehicle, along with all the other vehicles here at All Things Automotive, has undergone a new multi-point inspection, as well as received a fresh oil change, a new cabin air filter, and a new engine air filter. So you don't need to worry about replacing any of those anytime soon. Taking a look here on the mirror caps, you do have your turn signal indicator integrated into those. And taking a look around here to the inside, you do have a blind spot indicator in your mirrors as well. This will just light up if there's anybody in your blind spot, helping you to drive just a little bit safer. Taking a look over here before we enter the vehicle, you do have passive keyless entry, meaning if you have your keys in your pocket or your purse, you do not need to take a nod to be able to enter your vehicle. We'll take a look inside now. As you can see here inside, you have some beautiful black leatherette seating. And I'll just take a peek into the glove box to bring out the results of that multi-point inspection I was talking about. As you can see here, your tire treads are 5 30 seconds in both the front tires and 7 30 seconds in both the rear tires. And as for your brake pads, you have 12 30 seconds in both the front and the rear. We'll continue to make our way around the vehicle. Now taking a look over here to the rear passenger seating. I would like to point out before we enter the rear passenger seats that this vehicle does come with black roof rails as well as black running boards to help you get in and out of your vehicle. I'll take a look here in the rear occupant seating. As you can see, this vehicle does seat a total of five people, but if you have four or less, this middle seat does fold down to become an additional armrest with two cup holders. You also have USB charging ports in the back as well as pockets on the back of those front seats for the rear occupants. You also have carpeted floor mats back here. And taking a look over here at the doors, all of the doors do have cup holders in them as well as powered windows. We'll make our way to the back of the vehicle. I would like to point out this vehicle does have a tow bar already installed for a small trailer hookup or a bike rack. You also have a beer backup camera to help you see anything behind you whenever you're backing up or parking. I'll now take a look inside this trunk. As you can see, you've got a significant amount of space back here, but those seats in front do fold down, so I'll show you what they look like folded down in just a bit. All right, now with those seats down, you'll be able to see you have a lot of space back here to haul some pretty significant items. You've also got several anchor points back here if you wanted to strap down said significant items from shifting around as you drive. I'd also like to point out you do have several small storage spaces back here, as well as two power outlets. And I also want to point out on those seats, you do have top and bottom anchor point tethers if you have little ones who need car seats. We'll now move on to the front of the vehicle. I would like to mention that with the purchase of this vehicle, you do get two keys for your convenience. Here inside the vehicle on the door, you do have powered windows and mirrors as well as powered door locks. And as for your driver's seat adjustments, you do have eight-way directional power seat adjustments. So you can move the seat forwards, backwards, up, down, tilting forward and back, and then two directional lumbar support. You also have a telescopic steering wheel, meaning you can move that in and out as well as up and down to make sure it fits you. And to the left of the steering wheel, you do have dashboard backlight controls as well as your headlight controls. I'll now just get in the vehicle and start it up for you. This vehicle is a push to start. All right, now that the engine's on and the dashboard's lit up, you'll be able to see this vehicle has about 37,015 miles on it. We'll take our attention over here to the right side of the steering wheel. That's over here are your dashboard navigation buttons. So with these, you'll be able to cycle through all of the information and services this vehicle provides. Right underneath that, you do have your adaptive cruise control buttons. Adaptive cruise control is really useful because if you set a certain speed to cruise along the highway at, if you end up following behind somebody, this vehicle will automatically adjust to match their speed. And to the left side of the steering wheel, you do have your volume controls as well as your Bluetooth and call controls as this vehicle does have smartphone integration. We'll now take your attention over to the center of the vehicle. Here in the center, you do have a lovely LCD touchscreen display. And this vehicle also comes with built-in navigation. 
I'll just throw this vehicle in reverse for you to show you that backup camera in action. To the sides, you do have your volume and radio controls, and underneath that, you do have your climate control settings. Right underneath those, you do have a USB charging port, as well as a power outlet and some small compartments. And we'll make our way down to the middle center. Here in the middle center, you do have two cup holders, as well as your four-wheel drive shift, your standard gear shift, and then you do have two heaters. And then lastly, this button does open and close that back window. Right behind those buttons, you do have a main storage compartment, and in this main storage compartment, you do have another power outlet. We'll take a look up to the top. Here at the top, you do have several features that will adjust for traction control, as well as terrain types. And then I also want to mention you do have built-in garage door openers. We'll now move on to the last section of this video. This last section of the video, we do want to address that this vehicle is pre-owned, so we'll be looking around for any blemishes, nicks, or stains. We know a lot of our customers come from very far away, so we want to make the purchasing process as straightforward and transparent as we possibly can. We want you to know exactly what you're getting with the purchase of this vehicle, imperfections, and all. So by looking around the cabin, it's in very good shape, but there are some very small stains. If you can see them, there's a very small stain there some small stains here on the passenger seat and on the headrest I was able to notice some stains back there as well on the driver's seat but other than that I haven't really been able to see any other imperfections inside the vehicle so we'll make our way around now to the outside we'll start here on the driver's side you do have a chip there. And we'll make our way around to the front. You do have several small nicks here on the front, most likely caused by stone chips. Stone chipping is extremely common. Almost every vehicle has it. The only way you can really prevent stone chipping is just by not driving your vehicle. The other thing is that this vehicle is white, which does tend to show a bit more than a darker color might. We'll now make our way around to the passenger side. This vehicle does have mud guards on it, which does help to prevent a little bit more of that stone chipping closer to the ground, but you do have some slight ones back here. You do have a scratch there on the handle, some slight staining on the rear passenger handle. Continuing around now to the back. Typically there is a lot of nicks and scratches on bumpers as people don't take care of putting items in and taking items out. And that is the case for this vehicle as well. You have some small scratches here. You've got a nick there. And then you've got several scratches here. The farther down you go, you do have a significant scratch right here. And we'll continue to make our way around back to the driver's side. You do have a slight scratch there. Some more small nicks. And we're back to where we started. That generally concludes the video vehicle tour. This vehicle has a lot of great features to offer. If you're interested in a white four-door wagon with the ability to seat five, fold-down seats, a good amount of space in the rear, passive keyless entry, adaptive cruise control, built-in navigation, four-wheel drive, and extra trimmings like roof rails, running boards, and mud guards, this is a good option for you. If you're interested in this vehicle, come and check it out at All Things Automotive. Located at 21518 Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, PA. Or you can give us a call at 717-485-4224. You can also check out this wagon and other listings on our website at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.